Feels like love. Cupid made a shot. Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? So I'm just sitting here editing. Well, actually, I already edited it. It's uploading, and I'm just doing a thumbnail for a PR. I'm gonna put that up first, and then I'm gonna put a machine haul. I already edited. Just have to do the um, links and everything like that. So I'm just doing the thumbnail, and I use Canva. That's kind of my jam. Um, but I know um, Pig Monkey's another one. I think that's the only two I really know, to be honest. But I said like Canva. I think it works good for me, so. I just use Canva. Yeah, so I'll show you what I'm doing here quickly. So I'm just literally, yeah, just kind of playing. So I think this was going to be my thumbnail for the next one. I like how that is. You get to see all the brands. I want to make sure I can see their names. So they're all getting like their own little shout outs. Um, I don't think like that right there. I wish I could. Let me see. But then it's not in the middle. I feel like it's still getting its shout out. So I feel like this is good. Okay, now we're just gonna load up. Preparing my design. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm still working on it. I know thumbnails are very, very important. You guys look crooked. Um, because it's like the first thing you see, right? So it makes you click. You want people to click on it, right? So you really want it to kind of pop. Like I said, I'm not the best at it yet, but I try. I'm learning as every day, every time I have to do a new one, right? So, I got my Christmas present a little early. Um, I really wanted a tablet, so I got a Samsung tablet. All my phones are Samsung, so it makes filming and recording stuff really, really easy. I use my phones to record, so I have an S20, my old cell phone. That's what I do all my main recording on. And then my mom gave me her old... I don't even know. It's a Samsung, but it's like a weird Samsung. I tell her to stop buying these. I told her like the new one she just got is the S22. And I'm like, mom, don't buy anything that's not like an S. Like don't forget these FEs and AEs and a whatever. That's I think what this is, like an F something. But it's fine for recording. And then, so I mainly record off of those two. Mainly the S20. If I want to do a double recording, then I'll use that for my face. I find it's not that good camera wise for overhead. But I love it because my tablet's a Samsung and everything is so easy just to transfer over so I could just do all my editing on it. It is like, I'm loving it. I just got it. So I haven't had it that long. But I'm very grateful. I'm very spoiled because I got it early. But we got it on a Black Friday deal so I feel like it's okay. It justifies it, right? So we're going to add our thumbnail, we're not trying to open it, we're trying to add it to our studio. That's how you add a thumbnail, you go to your studio and it'll click the little button and then you can add it. So now we have a thumbnail on our video, which I'm going to actually put it up today, but I do have it scheduled for tomorrow and that way back sorry that way if you schedule it for the next day it gives it time to upload all that you can go get in get your links I already put all my links actually I do have to do my hashtags right now so I will do that and then it just gives you time not to like rush and feel like you have time to monetize it and all that it just gives you a little extra minute instead of uploading it right away so I always schedule it and then I'll go back once it's all ready and when I'm ready to have it uploaded then I can put it up put it live right or whatever so that's what I do. I don't know if it's the best way, but it's the way that I do it. I taught myself everything to do with this. I didn't have any help. <laughs> I'm still learning. So it's all trial and error and patience because, yeah. 
this is a PR and you really want to make sure you show the brands, the companies. You want to make sure you hashtag all your companies that sent you products. So that's all I'm going to do on the bottom. I already put up all their links and discount codes um, for in there. Some don't give you discount codes if it's like, I notice a lot of Amazon ones don't really give discount codes. Which you usually get a pretty good price on um, like Amazon stuff anyways. But, there is a brush that I'm telling you guys, go check it out, Weber. I'm really liking them. I'm gonna, I wanna go on today and see if I can order another set. Am I spelling that right? Hold on. Why does it look different? So yeah, I thought today, what I really wanted to do today actually was do my own nails because it's been a long time. But, oh, my tummy's growling, guys. I haven't eaten anything yet, and it's like noon. So I apologize if you hear my tummy saying, what up, girl? Feed me. I had like a late dinner, though, and I want to have a late dinner, which is never a good thing, which I never eat too, too early. I try to like give myself that time in the morning, but it just makes me hungry. Uh, excited. Oh, and then yeah, the brushes. How am I forgetting to do the brushes? I know this part is not like the most fun. You always want to make sure that you spell. I, I find, try to always spell it the way that they spell it. So if they capitalize, try to capitalize where they capitalize. It helps them with their algorithms. So. Sorry. Between this phone, this phone, and everything, <laughs> probably the worst time to turn on the recording device. Eh? Like, yeah, let's vlog right now. Well, I'm still trying to do stuff. But I wanted to show you a little bit, like, kind of behind the scenes of some editing stuff. I don't know if that interests any of you guys or how. Maybe if you're a beginner and you're starting YouTube and you want to know some advice, some little things I know a little bit about. But I would say that's probably a good one is always schedule your recordings to come up even the next day and then do all the stuff you have to do all your links everything like that and that gives it time to do all the uploading behind the scenes and you don't have to stress about the time and then you can do all your links hashtags everything make sure it's good go back check everything and then you just reschedule it for a half hour from the time you just did it like I can literally I'm gonna put up at 2 p.m. it's 1 30 that's giving me or sorry 12 12 50 right now so it's like an hour so no big deal and then I just go back and then you go to save she's saving and that's everything is on if you are monetized then it gives you time for your monetization to for them to check everything and then you're good to go so that video will come out today and it's always good to re-watch your video anyways that's another tip um the 12th i think i'm gonna try to start dating these for you guys so you guys can kind of like keep on at least you know what i'm doing in my days or whatever you know what i'm trying to say so I want to do that, but what I really need to do, actually, I have so much new products, like for, for a haul from Ali and a couple from Amazon, but I've had a few from the old house too that I just brought, because like I said, I stopped ordering stuff about a month before I moved, just because of how Ali comes. So I still have some stuff that trickled in from there, and I've, now I've started ordering new stuff from here, and a few things have started trickling in. So I have a whole whack of stuff and I have no idea what's in it because I just literally don't remember. I can go back and kind of look like I have an idea, don't get me wrong. But I know like I want to do some designs for my nails and I'm pretty positive I purchased some, um, some nice decals that I want to try to use. And they're in that big pile of stuff so I'm going to take it out, kind of get it a little bit more organized. I want to see how... Another reason I wanted the tablet is because I don't like doing lives with my phone I feel like I hate that little screen so I'm hoping if I try it with a tablet that it'll make it a bigger screen I'm not sure or one day I'm just gonna have to hook up my camera maybe for lives I've never done that though so it's gonna be a lot of trial and error but realistically that is the only way you learn is if you try stuff so if you ever see me a pop-up live and it just says testing it's nothing crazy it's me playing with it and seeing if I can get it to work <laughs> because that's the only way I'm gonna learn is if I literally just try to go live and see if it works so it might not be nothing crazy 
But, um, I got these polishes in too. I think they were like $12, $13 from Amazon. Amazon's just had some good, like, really cheap deals lately. But I love the packaging. Isn't that pretty? I want to say it says, like, Coachella, but I don't think that's how you, like, write. Like, spell I swear I bought them with a bottle. I don't know. There are one polish in it. I ordered these off Ali. I thought they were like this big. They come like this. Like, I don't know what little thing I'm going to use them for. But I'm going to move you guys down and I'm going to. Well, I'm going to grab that big thing. I have all my new products over here. But I want to clean off this desk a little. So I think I'm going to transfer you guys to a different thing. I hooked up my second light. Um, I'm waiting for a daylight a daylight company light, whatever that, you know what I'm talking about guys. Um, not like the silver ones, those are mad expensive, but I'm not spending three bills right now on a light. Like I'm not doing it, but they have another version um, that I think will work good for me. It's like the double light um, for my overhead light. Over here, this little between my desk area, right this little corner is a perfect area for that little bin that little bin sits down there and then i have this clear bin that i got which is just a really nice large clear bin that i wanted to put for all my haul stuff so when i get it in i can just put it in the bin and just have it there so it's there whenever i need to do a haul i see if, when i have enough stuff for a haul right so this is what has got accumulated in the last couple months um yeah it's a little bit it's a little bit so this probably go through that and take it out of that box I think I just did that for packing reasons and then we have all of this stuff there's a whole whack of polishes a whole whack of stuff like I don't even know these I got from the Dollar Tree so I feel like we don't have to show you guys that they can come out I have a whole pack that I got from Amazon which is kind of cool that they actually came green too so or not Amazon, sorry, Alley. So maybe I'll keep the Alley ones in for the haul and show you guys, but you don't need to see the Dollar Tree. But yeah, so I just kind of want to go through this a little bit and then go through this box, see what's inside. Like that's that drill I want to come out and then just kind of see what's all in there. What is garbage? What can be a little reorganized? Restock any of the drawers or anything that needs to be restocked. And that's kind of what I want to do today. So I'm just going to set you guys up a little diff. I'll put you guys on the big one and then I want to try to organize the haul stuff a little bit. I think it's just too much to do one haul so maybe I could do two and I think I have quite a bit of glitter so maybe I'll hold the glitter for like it's a glitter haul we'll pot and do all that just have like glitter and gab type of moments. Um, they're always fun so just a little organization it needs it's just too much like where do you start right? Too much stuff. And I keep buying stuff and then I'm probably rebuying, which is not good. So I really have to get through this stuff. But once you haul it, you have to find places for it and put it away. So this is, it's like a crazy process, but we're going to do it. We're going to get through it. My hair is crazy. Ever since I dyed my hair that red, I feel like you literally, any fuzz or anything, like you just see it. I didn't even comb my hair today, guys. So don't judge me. Chill vibes. But all right, let me switch you guys. Okay, so here's kind of like the crazy table of haul stuff. Now, what I don't like is like this random little sticker just being out. So I'm going to want to just put it in a bag with another sticker. So I know that's going to make it harder for when I want to have fine links. But it's going to be tough for me to get links for all this stuff because it's going to be so long ago. But I will try my best. Now... I feel like I can probably get it like an Amazon haul together. I have a few things just from Amazon, so I feel that could work. Okay, so we have all this is glitter. Maybe I think I might have enough stuff to do like a glitter. And I'm still trying to find the stickers that I want for my nails. Which I think these might be it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna keep that out because I think that's the stickers I actually was looking for. So that's pretty easy peasy lemon squeeze. Like this is just full of polishes, but like these are all um oh well, not that one, that's a good gold though. They're like seashell. A lot of them are like that seashell effect. This is a word and I know I'm not getting it right, but like look at that. It's a gorgeous color. It's a lot of good like good effect gels in there. A whole lot of those gels. I really like them. There's just so much stuff and I just don't know how I'm gonna really organize it. So that's the glitter. Two glitter. I know I'm gonna have to get through these soon because I know I have some Christmas stuff I think I probably have Halloween I probably have summer stuff still in here guys I'm so far behind like the move just literally put me really behind on things so That's a bag of glitter too. So we have a whole whack of glitter. It's not good. It seems mixed stuff. Don't get me wrong, if there's a pack of glitter or something in something, I'm not like going through it like that. Because I still want that surprise element for myself. I'm not going through stuff twice. I'm just kind of getting a quick glance. Like, oh, glitter. That's a nice little pot of glitter. That's all potted gels. That's glitter. Some stamping plates that are just loose. Okay, and now I... Oh, these are stickers. Let me just see if these are those stickers that I was looking for. They are not. Oh, maybe they are. They're so cute though. Look at them. Sneak peek. But they're not the ones I was looking for. And I don't want stuff getting squished and damaged. So some stuff I just want to sort of just fit in to a bag. Uh, that's like a whole whack of full stickers, decals I should say, little sticker decals. What's this? That's model ones. Oh, that's the package they sent me. I usually am good with taking off my address, but Again, with the move, I don't know everything. There's a whole whack of brushes in there. Oh my, like guys, we really have to get some hauls in. This will be way too much to do one haul. Like it's, that will be here, girl. That, that'll be like a two hour haul. But like this box, I don't, oh. are just some glitters. I remember I got these glitters from Crazy Bits. So let's just put all of our glitter in here and then we can have one big glitter and gab moment. That's a lot of glitter. Is that glitter too? It's not glitter. Not glitter. Oh my gosh, look at that. Full of glitter. 
packed full of glitter. And I think that's all packed full of glitter too. So there. So we have that organized. At least we can do one glitter haul. That'll probably we'll probably do that soon. Now these here are no clue what that is, to be honest. Tips of some kind. Brushes of some kind. This is okay. Oh, what is that though? Oh, that's like the stand. Okay, none of my other ones came with a stand. That's kind of cool. But this is all these polishes, and I really, really like them. The FNs, they're really, really pretty. Good pigment. So I have a couple of them. A couple of sets of them. Again, stickers. This surprise one. I don't know what it is. It's heavy, though. I want to open it so bad. But I like to get surprises with you guys, too, so... Okay, cuticle scissors. There's one stamping thing. I feel like I don't really have to show that though. It's kind of polish, polish. This is all from Amazon. Okay. So at least we got that a little bit more organized. It's not as overflow as it was. But yeah, guys, we're definitely gonna have to do a massive haul. Like, look at that. It's too much stuff. Okay, let's get through this box here and see what we can do. Alright, let's see what's all in here. have plenty of swatches. I don't know why I bought that huge ass bag, but okay. Okay, refill nail tips. That's fine. Oh, we have one empty case. Oh, good. Oh my, I had refills. Oh, I just ordered some. Oh, black on white. Oh, that's good. And a clear. Right, swatches. Okay. These are for the bathroom, so they're just good for like mouthwash cups. Brand new. So this is what I really wanted to do in here. Let's just go through this. Some of this does not need to be in here. Some of it, like, I'm not using these. I don't use these anymore. Kind of switched over so these I want to go with the office stuff. This I like to wrap my drill in. Stamping pads empty jar. I don't know why I kept it, but for something, I guess. These little lights don't need to be in there. Oh. Some practice tips. Rings can go out. Okay, some extra crystals. These are all VDD crystals. So those are the big ones. Don't think we need to refill any of them right now. Okay, those little cotton pad things. Okay, so this must be for my hand. I 
extra stamper. Oh, I keep these just in case I have any smaller ones that I'm like do giveaways just to help protect them. So. That bottle never fit that lid. It's fine. These are good little bags for giveaways. Glitter or anything in them. An extra stamp. I have stamps down here. those refills and I just bought some I have to figure out a better organization for that because I'm just it's not wasting money but I'm definitely spending money where I don't need to be spending money if I have them so swatches were good a few extra files on hand I don't usually use these files much anymore but I do like to have a few so just in case well, that is plenty to have on hand. Extra rings. Okay, so this These, I think I'm going to put a pack of these out. These are pretty good for when you want to do little demos. They look a lot nicer than the round ones. I prefer to swatch on round ones for my collections. They're just easier and uniform. Okay, a cuticle oil. Shouldn't probably be in there. Oh, a bottle thing. Bag. Okay. Um, maybe we can use this bag. Less other bags. We are definitely good for swatches for a while. I don't think. Yeah, I'm probably trying to refill. lipstick things these are good for when you're making like little inks or anything so these are kind of cool to have on hand okay i have a lot of stamping stuff why so much stamping Ooh, beauty big bang another dime all thing wow i can't believe i just ordered five of them it cost me thirty dollars born pretty tips okay so Silk wrap, I'm not overly using. Oh, I found that lid. How convenient. Extra dust pad, good to have. Base gel. Hand mask, girl needs that off. Well, then these are just. Oh my god, guys. Okay, I just bought some of them too, so I probably didn't need to. Some extra bling and stuff. That's just... okay. These are brand new too, so that's actually I'm probably going to use one of those balls. Cuticle bits. I'm going to leave that out. I need a new one, so. Those are fine. You know, we have a couple extra down there. Extra bling, extra things. Okay. 
Now, tips. Put that back there. So these all say practice tips. Now, where are the ones that I just bought? They're probably over there. Are these all born pretty? Let's see. Okay. I think they're fine there for now. These I just use as tips inside my hand too, so. I need to figure out what shapes, what sizes are good for that in a hand, and then be using that and have a box or something for that. A little bit different. But for now, let me grab this. Bags. I'm gonna check and see if any of these need to be refilled. Um, couple. Couple can go in there. These I just got from Costco. They last you a while. They're good for um, stamping. They're not lint free at all, so you will get lint, but they work good for stamping, actually. So an extra cloths which are good i've tried these from a dollar store as well dollarama they also work good for um stamping they hold the liquid nicely so and then these are all new brushes i like to keep them in here just if i'm not using them I, sometimes i'll just put them in giveaways too Square brush. I'm more of an oval brush person. I have a few. These are the ones that I just ordered, which is crazy. From Sheen. Well. Anyway, they're there. New drill bits. So when I need to switch out my other drill bits when they just get old, I have a brand new set. New cuticle numbers, I have a few new, new, and then I have a few new implements down there, so. And I think I have a couple of new boxes that can go down here too, that were full of stuff. I'm just refilling these, like, I don't know why these just got discolored, I'll throw them out. I'll just use these for stamping as well, little sponges. Mm. I don't know if I would buy the little sponges again though, to be honest. These work great. I just refilled them. I bought some more. Scoot you guys back. I like these wipes, so I'm gonna just set them down here for now. I have a few out still. These are great for my refill of what I just did. So just some sticky, double-sided sticky um, things. Okay, so this can go down here. I feel like, no, you're not going in there. I'm over that. One box is good. I want to keep that out. I'm just going to keep this down here for now because I don't know why I kept it. These I'm going to put in storage. I'm just not using these. I bought a whole lot. They really did work when I had that system, but now they just don't work and I don't know what to do with them. Maybe I'll maybe just donate them, honestly. I have quite a few. So I know like people can use them for crafts and they can, you know, put stuff in them or whatever. So I'll keep a couple, but I think I should donate some because I do have quite a few of them. I think I need this jar for anything. I don't know why I even kept it. Maybe for tips or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it for now. 
it ain't hurt nobody in there so so that got cleaned out oh cotton pads oh we for cotton pads oh we're pretty good so that got nice and organized hey guys how's everybody doing today so this vlog is going to be kind of crazy i think it's like made up of three different days so today is thursday the 15th let me put that bad boy on a vibrate the weather is pretty bad today we're supposed to get like our first real like snowstorm which is like 10 centimeters so it's gonna be quite a bit so i plan to do like absolutely don't go anywhere today to be honest i didn't have to go anywhere anyways and i wanted to be in the studio and just get like a good studio day in because i have some stuff to do tomorrow fridays are always tricky for me to be in the studio so unless it's like late night which happens a lot lately so we're just going to be natural face today because why put all that makeup on my face for no good reason like i'm not doing it i don't know let me know like how are you guys are you guys people that just like or what type of person are you people that is gonna sound correct what type of person are you are you a type of person where Every day, doesn't matter if you're going out, not going out, you put a full face on, or are you just like natural, just let my face breathe type of person? I'm more let my face breathe, and usually once in a blue moon put makeup on. Is not that, that bad? That's probably bad of me. I should be like, always want to be glam and thing, but sometimes I feel like just makeup on my face just feels, ugh. I don't know, I'm weird. I go through phases, I think, in life. This is a phase where I just want to be... Well, in the winter, I find I get dry. My skin gets a little dry. Even if I'm like a hermit and I stay in the house, it's like my skin knows it's winter. So now I just have some nice oils and creams and I'd rather just have that than makeup. But anyways, you've not come here for sit about talk about makeup for 15 minutes. I got a new Dymo in. Same as my other one. My other one was blue. This one's gray. I don't know. I just stopped working. <laughs> like I changed the batteries out and then it still wasn't um printing i don't understand what went on with it so i just got a new one and now this one says the batteries are dying i don't know i don't know but what i did yesterday which i'll show you guys i did all my decals i didn't film it because it's just a tedious little thing it really is but i will definitely go in today and i'll show you exactly what it all looks like how i kind of did it for my brain to work and how i organize like my smaller decals to my larger ones that don't fit in those little card holders so that's definitely something if you guys look back here there we have a whole whack of madame glam i did a huge order from them well two collections um the custom fees are so stupid it cost me 50 dollars in custom fees like i was not a fan of that so i have to figure that out um, and then I also have a box from, I'll have to blur that out because that is my address. Oh, it's not even my address, so it's fine. From the Nail Throne. Yes, uh, I'm in my pajama pants. That's my house clothes. I literally have a house, like, I don't wear inside or outside clothes inside. Is that weird too? Like, I think I'm just a little bit of an odd human being. I don't like outside clothes inside. Like if I come outside and I come back inside, I change it right away into something like comfy. Like I have like my house pajamas and then I have my sleep pajamas. I'm weird. <laughs> so anyways, I never think of these things because you're just one, like you're by yourself you, or you know what I mean? Like you just don't think of that stuff. But now like filming and that I'm like ta thinking about it. I'm like, is that odd? But I don't like outside clothes inside. It's really weird. Like it smells like outside. I don't know. So we have a good box full of Glitter Bells glitter. So I grabbed a whole whack of them. So we have a big haul of that coming. My damage was... I just thing off the top so I got a whole wagon it just always like it tells me how many 
I got, I don't, it doesn't, but I spent, my total was like $99, so almost $100 in glitter. All for you guys. Just because I wanted to show you some different style of stuff and bring in some new stuff in the in the studio, I wanted to also try your glitters. And I'm not going to lie, I got a really good, I got the ones that are on sale. So these for me, for Canadian, cost me $4.08. So it's not that bad, right? Pretty sure this is a 10 gram. Sorry, I lied, 15 gram. So good size. And they're really cute. I think I want to put them on display in the studio. But yeah, 100 bucks in glitter. Shh. Don't tell them, okay? You gotta keep these bills just for when we do taxes. It's a business write off all day long. You need glitter for my business. <laughs> like, how many people can say that, right? That's awesome. I love it. So, this does have my address on it. So, I'm going to put it back up here for now. Um. I got some stuff in from Born Pretty also. I ordered a few things from them. I ordered a mystery um, little bundle from them. It was like 10 bucks. And I was just curious to see what it was. And then I seen these like polishes or they look like polishes. I think they're the stamping polish though. And I was like, what is this? I never ordered this. I had to go back and look and I was like, oh, the mystery bag. Because it's not in like a bag, it's just there. So yeah but all day yesterday i did all the decals so i want to show you that and go through that with you guys and then i want to bring out some stuff i want to do some hauls today because i feel like i when i went through my box of things i feel like i'm like reordering stuff i don't really need right now and i don't want to be like it's not wasting money because it's stuff that i will use but if i don't have to be spending money on that right now like i don't want to be right? there's funner things in life to spend money on and you know, food, all those lovely things, and <laughs> not stuff that I don't really need right now for the business, so. That I wanna go through, but I wanna throw the decals, and then I think I'll put some stuff away, but then I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be, so I definitely wanna show you the decals in this vlog, and then if, I'll just do a separate one, and I'll see. I'll add it into this if I feel like it's not too long, or then or that'll just be a separate video. So if you see the same clothes, because your girl's just doing to do a lot of studio stuff today. But I will take you guys and show you. I want to get a coffee, so that's part of me. The tea kettle going. It's like twelve, I think now in the day. I tried to sleep in a little today, but no, that didn't really happen. Yeah, it's twelve twenty. So I'm a little later than wanting to be in the studio. I wanted to get in here around 11, but the day just didn't really permit that. I was doing socials and doing some stuff online, so you know how that goes. It can be carried away. So all these books now, they don't have a purpose for me. <clears throat> I'm gonna hold on to the sheets for now. These um, like card sheets. I still use them for my foils. Now, I don't think I'll be buying any foils anytime soon. I have a lot of them and I don't really use them. I need to start trying them more. Um, but until now, I think I'm good for that. So I'm going to hold on to some for sure for like future foils. But because I feel like, you know, like we use these things a lot. So I have to go through this. I have my, my price list in here. So ideally I want to keep that out. I did this a little bit ago, but I probably should update that. I think it's pretty good where it is for now, but these binders, I think I'll just put like in storage or something, or honestly, I might just donate the binders to like a Goodwill or something. I don't know. I have like whites and i have a blue one too so i have four different binders that i know i don't need all of them like i'll keep one just in case maybe the bigger white one but like you can get them from the dollar store anyways okay i will show you guys that i'm gonna go make a coffee quick because i can hear that tea kettle saying girl what you doing and then i'll show you guys the decals i'll bring them i'll show you the drawer how they look and then i will kind of like bring them out and just go through a little bit of detail of how i organize them and hopefully it's going to work for me i haven't used them a lot i just did this last night so i'm really hoping that it'll work but i i know it'll work better because i just wasn't reaching for a lot of stuff and even going through them oh my god it gave me so much life and inspiration just to see like different things that i'm like oh wow this would be great on a nail set and practice on this and 
so we'll do that so let me go make my coffee and then i'll move you guys because you guys are just like over here on my desk chilling with me look at all this mess Ugh. the studio is like tore up we need to get organized but we need to do all these hauls because i have too much stuff and i don't know what i have and that's annoying my life too so love you we'll be back in a second all right guys i'm back i feel like there's something in my eyelash though I feel like it's the oil that I put on my face. I did like a nice hydrating face thing today. Let it soak in. Kids, let's go. Glasses make me look like cuter, I guess. Not as thing. I don't know. I really don't care. Um, God loves me, and that's all that matters. So, anyways, back to the sticker decals after all that shenanigans. Um, this is what I used to have. Now I'm just gonna show you like this. I've showed it once before in a video. So I just had a binder and I just put what categories and I tried to organize it like that in categories. Now I just felt like I was never reaching for it. I always reached for like just like the other ones in smaller binders, which I'll show you that. Now these are just the little baseball card holders from Amazon. This is just the Amazon basic brand. I found a whole whack of them, so I have a, now I have a whole whack. But I just found, again, I was not reaching for that system. And it did take up a lot more room. Even just having, like, you would think, okay, well, whatever, one book. Now I have, like, six books for one book. I get it, but it's still, it's still... Really, there was three books, though. I had water decals, um, some stickers, and I had one for designer. So there were still three books that I was using. Um, but mainly, there was that blue book. I'm going to move you guys around a little here so I don't know what it is and I know you guys are probably like who cares but I don't feel sick my throat my throat's a little tickly but my nose will not stop running so I'm sorry if you hear sniffles but I don't understand what's going on in my life I have the heater on over here because I know sometimes it gets chilly in my studio area because the windows if it's really really cold outside I can feel like the chill through the window um, not air or anything but you know what I mean when you have a lot of windows like you still get that cold but I don't know, my nose wants to stop running. Like, it's freaking annoying. Like, I'm every two minutes, like, what is going on in my life? Okay, sorry, I just needed to do that. So if you guys hear sniffles, I apologize, but I don't know, I don't feel sick. Maybe I'll go take a little swig of cough syrup and maybe it'll help, but my throat, it, the air is a little dry in the house, but I do have a humidifier, or sorry, yeah, a humidifier I have in the bedroom, so I'm sleeping with that every night, so that is helping, but I don't know. I just don't know what's going on. All right, anyways, back to decals. So here is the side of my, like my wall here. Here's my desk. And here is my decal drawer, one of two. I have two of them and my foils. So this big, huge binder is foils. Now, they're not in really any order. I do try to keep them like in order as they go, um, but it's not that crazy. I just try to keep animal with animal, sorry. And then like that, I do put these little paper clips on top of them to hold the top ones in. I find that helps a lot. But these books, I was trying to find them on Amazon and by golly, I can't find them. Uh, I'm still trying to do a little bit more research so I can try to find a link of these books. If any of you guys know where to get these off Amazon, please do me a favor and send me the link. I don't know why, like I've typed in everything and nothing is coming up of these clear books. So this is what I have for down here. Um, flower and leaves, animals, gold, silver, and lace. Um, some seasonal, some abstract and patterns, and then designer. So for instance, like, let's just go one that has two things in it. Okay, let me see if this will work for now. So here, these are full cover, but I'm just gonna, I have them down as patterns. I feel like that's working for me. You're not gonna give me what I need here in life. Sorry for the tissue. Okay, so they're still kind of like, um, what do you call it? Stiff, because they're new, right? So here, okay, so now you have like just different designs and just different stuff like that. These I really like because they're all double pockets. So from the front and back, they're two different pockets. Even the front, the top, this is two separate individual pockets. So there is like a, see the third one? Right here. So there's three. 
So there is a divider in between the front and back, which I really like. Now the Amazon ones do not have that. They're all one. You can put front and back in them, which I did, but I really like that these are separate. And again, it's a separate pocket. So I got these from um, Crazy Bins. It's like a return place. And I just lucked out and I found like a whole whack. So I just grabbed what I found really, like six. I thought that would be fine. I think I need more. Or I would like to have a couple more at least. So, and then at the back, um, I just went with abstract. Because I have quite a few just different abstract things. So I just threw all that back there. Now, majority of these smaller ones are water decals. Now, I am not opposed to putting my water decals and stickers together. That is what I've done here. So this to me is some, some like pattern, like lines. I'm putting under patterns for me to work. Abstract, whatever, right? And then I just label on the side and I, I really like it so far. Like I said, I just did it. So, but I, I do mix my stickers and decals together. Okay. You don't want to go back in with one hand. I understand. Um, now if you're doing a different price point, okay, I'll talk about that in a second. So I don't have you guys just facing the ground here. Oh, wrong drawer. So this drawer here also has decals. Now this is the system I use for some stuff that is smaller that still needs their own binder like i have food i have specific oh i think i said it right <laughs> snake one because i just have a lot of snake design i have a mixed one of flower and leaves now these usually are bigger ones that won't fit in those little binders right so these are like the big packs well i guess that i could have cut down but you know what i mean so I will have little ones for that too. But now somebody asked me, okay, I want to know, like, I want flowers. I can grab these two flowers and be like, here you go. Have it, like, have at it, right? Now, I also have these smaller ones that I really like. So I just use, like, for instance, this one just has different Christmas stuff. I have Christmas stuff over here as well for smaller ones. But we do get a lot of the bigger stickers, so they need a place to live. So they just go in here. So the bigger stickers I have a separate little book for. And then that's how they're going to live. And I kind of like the way that that method goes. And then you also just have like more individual stuff. So Casino, for instance. I just put Casino because I didn't know what else to really name this one. It's just like... Where you get like cards and like money and that type of stuff, right? So to me, I was like, hey, yeah, that reminds me of Casino Vibes. So you can just have, like, individual themed ones, I feel, that works good for. And then, like, Halloween, that type of stuff. And just kind of keep it so more of a theme if you know, okay, somebody says, okay, I want to have, like, you know, I beat some money nails. And then, okay, well, that's my casino thing. Here you go. Pass that to them. You're good to go. And, sorry, guys, the sniffles. Come here, Betsy this year i just did that because these are all like they're kind of kitty and i just realized i never reach for them and i just don't want them to take up like a whole whack of room in a book i don't know if i'll just keep them maybe like throw some in giveaways or maybe i'll just reach for them every now and again but i just kind of threw them in this little little box here and i think that works good for me i didn't want it to take up a whole book for that because I don't really want to get any more, like I have a few more of these that I like that system is going to work. I, these are empty so we can grow. If something gets too big here, they can grow to a bigger folder. But I really don't want to go much over than what I have. Ideally, I probably would like to get maybe a couple more of these. I probably can fit two or three more of them. And I think that would work really well, maybe two. Just to have for future growing. And then like, yeah, so I just really liked the way that that worked. And that's all I did. Like I said, I just put flowers. Like, I'm not going too crazy of how they are. You can kind of organize a little bit. Like in here, I realized I had a whole whack of the, like the sunflowers. So I just put them on the same page. So you can kind of go like that, but I didn't color coordinate them. I don't have time to go in there and be all pink and all blue. Like you definitely could. If that's something you want to do but I just mix them and I do mix my decals with my um my water decals with my thing hold on let me flip. okay guys sorry my nose is gonna be a little red and you might see tissue all over the studio for some reason because I don't know why my nose will not stop running anyways back to the decals so mixing them with 
my water decals and my sticker decals. I find for me it works perfectly fine in how I do things in my studio. Now, you could always have your stickers at, or your water decals at the front, your stickers at the back, and then let them kind of meet in the middle once you get to that point. Um, now, if you charge different prices for your water decals and then sticker decals, if you're in your salon, then you could just tell your client that there might be a price change depending on the sticker or you know price adjustment depending on the sticker you choose right so I still think give them the option of all like if you give them if you say oh well these ones are more expensive than these ones and these ones they're gonna might just go for the cheaper ones so I feel like by mixing them you're they're gonna see all the options I'm gonna want to get what they want to get so sometimes I feel like mixing them would be a good deal because I remember giving my mom that book of all the little this is why I kept this out so I can show you guys so I gave my mom this book she didn't really know what she wanted she wanted something pink and then so I gave her the book she went in to look flowers and then she went in and she was looking at like animals and she went and looked at this so she looked at a lot of different things and then it all that did is confuse her of what she wanted and then she was picking things that I was like well you said you wanted this color so if well if you really probably should change your base color if you want to go with this so it really can confuse so, so I like the individual books so I can be like she says flowers and you know here have at flowers don't try to go back and you know do a leopard print now or something when we're already you know mid flower design so just saying something like that can kind of work so I, I like the system I do like my smaller system I've been using that one for a while for my bigger ones so I like that I could kind of switch it over for my smaller ones to have them more categorized so I do like that um, hopefully it'll work I think it's gonna work great and it looks a lot nicer in the drawer as well so I don't know if I'd ever do that with my foils right now I just have like a massive binder that has all of them in it I'll kind of show you because why not we're already here she big like this binder cost me like $40 off of Amazon it was like the biggest binder you could get but I was so tired of flipping through them and then it just like fall out right so massive binder clips what was that I don't even know what this is okay so what I'm saying with this it's not really categorized hold on here but I do have it where animals will be at like the front so I know if I'm gonna add animals get a new sleeve put it in where like animals print is right for example I'm gonna go with animal print now we have flowers so again you just kind of do the flower thing now I just put them in these and I just put a little pin um little safety pin they're not safety pin um paper clip sorry on the top so they don't like literally fluff out like i feel like they will kind of like unroll out <laughs> sometimes so that really does help but that's it like abstract with abstract so on some colors and then you have like i don't even know like newspaper type of ones and stuff lace with lace so i just kind of keep their categories with their categories I've never done like the little um, like this system to say like mark it would I I don't know should I maybe like maybe if I do add I actually you know I probably could that would probably be an actually a pretty good idea and what I would do because I just seen them that I have them actually I have these, which I probably did buy them for that and just never did it, in all truth, which are just page dividers. So that probably would work quite well in that book because it's a big enough book, like the, um, the binder clips are big enough. I feel with the small ones, you get too much in there and then those papers start coming out and that's what annoyed me with my foils and I didn't want to have a thousand different little boxes or different binders for the foils. I just don't think I needed that because I just wasn't utilizing as much and I kind of like that big one binder so I probably will go through and maybe do kind of mark the system so I can be like hey you want this go there but realistically I'm not pushing anybody to take foils because I'm not that great at it so I just need to practice more but I will put this in that drawer 
I probably have enough stuff now to, for the two, like, for a vlog. I did, like, a couple days of, like, organizing a few things and putting a few stuff together and actually even organizing that haul stuff. And this is so messy. I got a few more things in, too. I don't know, guys. In my coffee. In my little cup. Hang out with me today. fits I think that was my key I just want to make sure it'll actually fit up there and okay so now I'm definitely gonna have to go color coordinate it but at least I know it fits and I like it and it looks good okay guys so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually change this mixer drawer to one of the drawers up here and probably the mixed charm drawer I think the stamping is fine because stamping is right here and I think I'm good with that. So it's kind of like all one cohesive thing. So, but I want to move them up to these two drawers. This here, the idea of it, yeah, is great. It does not work very well. It just takes up way too much room. So this is not staying like that. They're going to go into little bins um, or something. I don't even know yet. But yes, they're going to go into some sort of storage because they're just not working like this at all. 